And you in Costa Rica, what a journey it has been. After being accepted to Northeastern University and finally becoming a Husky, the summer fun began. A whole month of fun and partying passed by and it was time to say goodbye to my friends and start my new life in Costa Rica. Our first trip as a group was to Volcano Irazu. Here we witnessed the place that Neil Armstrong himself said that most look alike to Mars, which was very interesting to see. That same day we got to see the natural beauty that Costa Rica shares with us and also some places with historical meaning to this nation. This place we visited was called Las Ruinas de Ujarras and afterwards we went to visit one of the town's churches where we got to know that Christianity is a nation's official religion. One of the best experiences of this program was the opportunity to live in a home with a Costa Rican family and get to know their way of living and their culture. In our second week of the program, we went to the InBio Park with the environment class and there we got to see the wide variety and diversity of animals and plants this country contains. One of the best moments that I had in the course of this program was when we got to see a Costa Rica versus United States World Cup qualifying match, in which the Costa Rican team outclassed the American national team and took the victory that night. This was one of the many unforgettable nights here in San Jose. It was this night that I noticed how important this sport is for the Costa Rican culture and society. Our next stop was Tortuguero. This is a place in the Caribbean coast of Costa Rica in which small groups of Costa Rican families live and make their way through the area in little boats as it is a place made up of many canals before reaching the coast. Here we got to do some service learning activities and also watch newborn turtles make their way to the ocean, which was an unforgettable experience for me. Community service was a huge part of this program and we were assigned our respective jobs for this entire semester. Having these service learning activities made me realize how a huge part of this country is in need and how important it was for us to make a contribution and leave our mark in these people's hearts. My daily life here in Costa Rica other than going to class to Aula Latina consisted of bothering the neighbor's awesome dog playing some soccer matches with my fellow classmates, going to actual Costa Rican League soccer games, and of course hanging out with the awesome turtle that lived in our home, and Alberto.
In my last trip as a group, we got to go to Earth University, which is an agriculture-based university close to Limon in the Caribbean side of Costa Rica, and also to experience a day in a family, farm family's home. Philip making an awesome appearance in my digital storytelling with a container full of cow poo in the background. It was a truly unique experience to see what goes on in a farm and we had a blast as we got to go fishing and also take a bath in the ice cold river in the back of the family's home. Overall, it has been a pretty epic journey, and it's so sad it has to end now. Getting to know new people before actually getting to Northeastern was one of the best parts. The relationships made here will hopefully keep on in Boston, and I'm really grateful for that. Living abroad has made me stronger and a more knowledgeable person, which I think will make my transition to Boston much more easier than it would have in August. Now it's time to say goodbye to the life we had here for three months and greet our next one back in Boston.